Hey guys, Kurt from Time Machine Transport. So, Mabel, the rain finally stopped, snow stopped. Oh, the snow's melted now. Um, I uh, want to show you guys. So, when you do this, and that's what I mean by silicone and all your stuff, there is, these things are in there tight, and it's all dry now, so I don't have to worry about putting zip ties on and getting the silicone all over myself. I did that before. Shit, I don't think I did the end of this one, darn it. I'm going to have to do that before I close it up. And then, like I said, I do all the butts and all the ends. All the wire nuts. I know some people are like, shame on you for using wire nuts. I mean, I don't see a problem with it. Like I said, this side is completely sealed. And then if you just shove a shit ton of silicone on there, moisture won't get in there. Or if it does, it's going to be very little moisture. And it's not going to cause it to, uh, to uh, break or get corroded and then you're going to have a bad connection so what i did was i just went ahead and zip tied everything so i can just pop it in place and then i'm going to go grab my truck out of the shop and hook it up to the uh to the front plug everything in before i push everything in there and uh that plug up front And it was raining here for days, so as you can see, that's all siliconed, and I have no rust down there from uh, from the rain. So that's that's how you want to do it like that. That way, you don't have to worry about these wires breaking, corroding stuff like that. One thing I am going to do when I throw this in there, I'm going to hit the ends of this. I forgot to do that, so that way it, it uh, prevents it from obviously getting in there so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, put you guys on pause and finish uh getting my truck pulled up and we'll get this thing tested out hey guys Kurt from time machine transport so i got everything closed up i just got to zip tie a few things but everything's put back in i gotta put a couple zip ties on that one and then on the other side however everything turned out well um so that's uh, the that's new setup. So what I did was, if you ever want to hook up your beacons, all I do is I hook them up to my running lights. And then when I'm doing an oversize, I just plug them in. When I'm not doing an oversize, I pop the light out and I just unplug it. So I'm going to clean up my mess. So four ways are all done. Now, uh, I have not tested the, the brake light yet. So I want to want to see if it was our plug that we right. left yeah left is good make sure I did not going on the right side oh, yeah we're good and good right on all right now the the real test comes and when i told you that, that i thought that plug was bad this is live and uncensored ladies and gentlemen <laughs> hold on one second i gotta put my tire thumper on my brake pedal all right we got the tire thumper on there all right my brake light up there works brake light there this is the real test because this is what I thought. Why the. Uh... All right. Oh, you got to be shitting me. It's fucking back. That's what I was not hoping for, man. I don't know why that damn thing is uh, still lighting up, man. So it wasn't the plug. It was not the plug. That, uh, that surprises me. That really surprises me I'm a little uh 
little stumped on that. Now I swore it was the uh, was the plug. I put a new plug in. Well, let's check the turn signals. I got to pick up a load on Monday. Today is Friday. Happy uh, early Easter to everybody. So I got to pick up a load uh, from Green Bay, Wisconsin, going over to Michigan. Then I'm taking an oversize to um, to uh, Oregon. So I got to make sure that this is done. I don't have time to rip it apart again. And I'm kind of done on that. I don't know why that damn thing is... Uh, He's doing that. I, it's a direct wire. I don't get it. A little uh, flabbergasted, if you will. I am a little flabbergasted. However, I got brake lights. It's just that one thing, man. I, that's, that is really fucking irritating me. That is really fucking irritating me. See, that's how I wanted it. So, I don't just how that is there I I did it on this side so I had just two brake lights and then just the indicator with the running light that's exactly what I wanted on that side but that's not the case that's really weird I don't get it I do not get it anyways I guess I was uh too confident on that I guess I got cocky thought it was definitely the plug but uh it doesn't seem that way. Shit. So let's take this off. Make sure I got this thing. Yeah, so that's exactly what I did not want. See how it's all lit, lit up on the right side? The left, that's exactly the way I want it, just like that. I want that corner one to just be the running light in the indicator. I don't know how, what the hell is going on here, but anyways, it's all, I just don't have time to rip it back apart, man. I'm going to have to either live with that, which I'm okay with, but all the other lights work. Everything works accordingly, so... I had to replace that plug anyway, so I'm not too booty sore about it. Anyways, please like and subscribe to the channel. Ciao.